I noticed pretty quickly that I had more energy. I am notoriously sleepy about two o'clock. When I get up, I don't stand up and do that, uh, 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 you know, where you kind of creak, creak, creak and walk across the room. I don't, you know, I don't do that. I think it's because, you know, throughout the day I'm making those little adjustments to keep my back lined up straight. The soul seat has been a really good um, fit for me, and it, I have noticed um, my posture is certainly better. It took, uh, it took, I think it took a few days of getting used to it. Um, I was a little bit sore the first couple of days, um, but I hung in there and have noticed that there's you know strength in this low back that wasn't there before. And I've also noticed that when I have a day where I don't sit in it, if I go work at a coffee shop or something else, um, and I sit in a seat, you know, just a regular, you know, chair like that all day, I'm definitely tighter um, the next day. My back is, you know, a little bit out of whack. I've had two back surgeries, so I'm fused at the neck and the low back. Um, and so I'm always on the lookout for an ergonomically sound setup. Um, a way that, you know, helps. I had the very best office chair I could find, actually, before I started using the soul seat. And um, I had an ergonomic specialist come and help me set up my space. And so um, it's important to me to have, you know, my office and my workspace set up in a way that's, you know, beneficial for my body. I have a couple of specialties, I guess. Um, I do portrait photography mostly. That's what pays the bills. Um, I also do commercial work for businesses around town. And then I have my own artistic personal projects that I'm working on as well. The Centenarian Project is really special to me. Uh, I started working on it at a time when I think I really needed something new, something that spoke to my heart. And it, uh, I guess for lack of a better word, I mean, just popped up this 101-year-old woman, you know, um, who my mom works with. And afterwards, when I was looking at the images, I was really struck by just, you know, that uh, her vulnerability or her willingness to be vulnerable with me and, and come in here and sit in my studio and, and you know, do what I asked her to do. And um, I knew it was a special set of images right from the beginning.